at least a thousand books have been written about the 1963 assassination of US President John F. Kennedy. But conspiracy theorists still like to whisper about who pulled the trigger. All we can say for sure is on November 22, 1963, President John F. Kennedy was shot twice, once in the head, once in the neck, while riding through Dealey Plaza in Dallas in his open limousine. Lee Harvey Oswald was charged with killing him, and a presidential commission headed by Chief Justice Earl Warren found that Oswald acted alone. This conclusion wasn't supported by the public. A 2003 ABC News poll found that 70% of Americans believed Kennedy's death was the result of a widespread conspiracy. Some say the bullet's trajectory did not match Oswald's seat on the sixth floor of the Texas School Book Depository. Others suggest a second gunman, perhaps on the grassy knoll of Dealey Plaza, participated in the shooting. Some believe in an even broader conspiracy. Was Kennedy murdered by CIA agents in his anger over the Bay of Pigs, or on the orders of Vice President Lyndon Johnson, or by KJB agents? Are gangsters mad at Kennedy's brother for prosecuting an organized crime syndicate? Speculation about one of the most famous political assassinations in history is such a popular parlor game that most people take the rumors to heart. So, in today's video, we've analyzed the 10 most outlandish theories and one of the strangest explanations that may actually be true. It was an accident. Author Bonner Menninger believes that Oswald shot JFK and that Secret Service agents fired back with Colt AR-15 high-velocity rifles. The theory is that when the car braked suddenly, the officer lost his balance and accidentally fired, killing the US president. However, there were no witnesses or evidence to support this theory. None of the president's Secret Service agents or advisors reported that a bullet passed through them. However, that did not stop Menninger from publishing a book outlining his own theory. The Umbrella Man Did It some attribute the assassination of JFK to a man standing under a black umbrella on November 22nd on an apparently sunny day. Even if it wasn't the murder weapon, it must have been a signal, right? The theory is so popular Oliver Stone fingered him in JFK and he appears in Umbrella Academy. Unfortunately, Umbrella Man Louis Stephen Witt said it was a protest at the appeasement policies of Joseph P. Kennedy when he was ambassador to the court of St. James and a reference to British PM Chamberlain's umbrella and appeasement of Hitler and the Nazis. All right, we knew that. Coca-Cola Conspiracy Theory The gunman, Lee Harvey Oswald, was a Dr. Pepper fan, and we know that as fact because even Oswald's favorite beverage is part of the intrigue. Author Jim Moore writes in The One Man Conspiracy 1990, that Oswald acted alone because after the assassination, Oswald was seen drinking Coca-Cola instead of his beloved Dr. Pepper. Moore believes there is only one realistic explanation. The theory is that Oswald must have been so nervous that he shot the president and picked the wrong soft drink from the machine. Woody Harrelson's father was also allegedly involved. Was Texas-born Charles Harrelson, father of Now You See Me actor Woody Harrelson, really a murderer? The man on the grassy knoll claims Harrelson was one of the two gunmen and that he was later arrested dressed as a tramp in Dealey Plaza. Dallas police ultimately named three more men as the tramps. However, in 1968, Harrelson was convicted of the murder of a businessman by a hitman in South Texas. Better Call Saul Theory An appointment in Dallas, police officer Hugh McDonnell accuses the Soviet Union of hiring the rogue CIA agent and assassin Saul to kill JFK. Apparently, McDonnell was a CIA freelancer and met Saul at CIA headquarters. He then tracked down Saul to get a confession, but apparently no warrant was issued for his arrest. Saul apparently shot JFK from a building across from Oswald's headquarters at the Texas Book Depository. But if this is true, did Saul conspire with Oswald, or did two men just happen to assassinate the president at the same time? What the dog doing? 
the Black Dog Man theory. In the killing of a president, Robert Grodin argues that a Black Dog Man figure can be seen in the pyrocantha bush in frame 413 of the Zapruder film. The problem with that theory is that the House Select Committee on Assassinations concluded that an individual was in front of the bushes, not behind them. Oswald's trip to Mexico is connected to the shooting incident. Oswald's visit to Mexico before Kennedy's death may have been to complete the assassination plot and plan his escape. Oswald visited the Cuban and Russian embassies during his six-day trip. Three of those days may have been spent with pro-Castro groups, a claim apparently confirmed by journalist Oscar Contreras Lartigue. The conversation, however, believes the journalist lived far away at the time, wasn't in any position to know who Oswald was with. The CIA was involved. The world was shocked when America's most trusted broadcaster, Walter Cronkite, announced JFK's death. Everyone remembered what they were doing at the moment. But what exactly was the CIA doing? Dave Perry, insurance claims adjuster, who had been digging through JFK assassination records since 1976, pointed out that the CIA may have had Oswald on the payroll or overheard Oswald plotting with the Soviets at their Russian embassy in Mexico. Does he have any proof though? Not yet. The Illuminati are responsible. According to conspiracy theories, JFK delegated presidential authority to issue silver certificates to the Treasury Department, threatening the power of the Illuminati-controlled Federal Reserve Bank. In fact, Kennedy signed an executive order to the contrary, phasing out silver certificates in favor of Federal Reserve notes. But why ruin a good conspiracy with facts? Aliens organize the hit. Milton William Cooper, a former US radio host, author, and gun rights activist, broke the news about Project Luna, a secret alien base on the far side of the moon. Additionally, he promoted the conspiracy theory that JFK was assassinated by a gas pressure device that aliens supplied to the driver of the presidential limo because JFK was about to expose Washington alien collusion. Which of these theories is true? You'll have to look into the JFK assassination files yourself, but we'll give you a hint. It's probably not number one. If you liked our video, don't forget to subscribe and follow our channel for more videos like this one.